Thank you, Eric. Well, this weekend is expected to be a really big one for holiday shopping. Now, you know, 2019 is another bruising year for many U.S. retailers. Consumer expert Amy Davis with all the stores that had to close their doors this year. Yeah, I mean, you know, when we kept announcing them one after the other, it's it seems like a lot, but until you hear, mm -hmm. more than 9,300 stores closed this year. Oh. That's despite wow. healthy consumers and a strong economy. That's a 58% increase from last year. So among the stores that filed for bankruptcy, Payless, they closed, that was like 2,000. Gymboree and Charlotte Russe, thousands more store closings could be on the way. We know Forever 21, those are not included in this list because those are gonna be closing in 2020. Um, you know, online shopping has become more and more popular and replacing those traditional shopping inside stores. Up to 75,000 more stores could close by 20, 2026. Wow. So we wonder what Black Friday will look what, like. What are you gonna do I with know. all that space? That's exactly. No. Hey, but you won't be able to tell tomorrow. It is Super Saturday, <laughs> which could also be known as Panic Saturday. That is because it is the last weekend before Christmas. And before you go crazy trying to buy everything, pay attention to the deals because retailers are offering some. I just saw half off all toys at Target. Many of them even have extended store hours so you don't have to rush. And remember, use your phone when you're shopping to check prices at other retailers when you're in store before you buy any bigger ticket items. Because if it's worth saving 20 bucks to drive two mm -hmm. miles, you might as well do that. Hey, Amazon, Google, Apple, and the Zigbee Alliance have agreed to partner as they focus on making smart home technology easier for everyone to use. So while they're still competing to consumers to buy their version of in-home systems, they all agree they need to set a standard that allows for integration between brands. So you can use your Amazon Alexa along with your Google Home. This is called Project Connected Home Over IP. The goal is for people to buy, um, to be able to buy products knowing they will work with the systems they already have at home and that they are secure. That's Perhaps most importantly. Important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's going to be a big deal. It doesn't matter which light switch I buy or whatever, it's going to work with what I got.